Hey everybody, today let's talk about the curved surface brush. This is really interesting and you can use this on any model you have. Um, here is uh, some alien with his hands up in the air. Let's give him some hair. Okay, so we BCK to access this brush. Looks like that. And let's decrease the draw size a little bit and turn X symmetry off. So we're just focused on one little piece at a time. Now click and drag to create a line. Uh, mesh is composed of multiple subdivision, subdivision levels so we need to uh, go to geometry and then delete lower. Okay, now let's continue this line and that creates a strip of geometry. Now we can continue this like that and let's do one by his eyebrows okay and you can move your geometry around um, just by clicking and dragging you affect the entire thing so okay that's a nice first piece of hair to deselect this just click in your scene to get rid of the transform mode now let's adjust the color a little bit and create some more hair. Okay, so this is going to go right here and right here, then right here and to the back of his head. This is really cool because it fits right on top of your model and you don't really have to move it around too much. You can if you want to, just by clicking and moving it around. And uh, nope, Control Z. Now let's click in our scene to get rid of that and create some more hair. Okay, this is going to be a little bit lighter. So click and drag, click and drag, and just really have fun with this because you you can really uh, have a lot of uh, uh, active uh, polygon points so you don't need to worry about this too much uh, crashing your scene okay let's click and create some more a little bit darker okay let's zoom in a little bit click okay now right here okay now I've got a little bit of a problem the mesh is sticking into my uh, aliens head so let's just move this out a little bit to make sure it doesn't do that okay good click now let's do one more perfect okay now this one's going to be a different color. Click, click, working, working. Hmm. Okay, good. Click. Now, if you were a hairstylist, this would be the brush for you because you could sculpt it any way you want to and um, do all sorts of things. You can also use this for armor, clothing, terrain, texture, uh, bumps, and all sorts of stuff. If anybody has any other experience using this brush, please uh, comment below and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks everybody. Let's zoom out so he's, he's really happy. Yay! <laughs>